In this video, I'd like to show you a new class that was added to PHP 8, weak map. Let's instantiate our first weak map. Like that. Now, a weak map is a sort of array-like class, but instead of using integers or strings as keys, you can use objects as keys. Let's see a demonstration of that. I'm going to define a new class here called my class, like that. And let's instantiate it. So I'm going to have my object here, which is a new my class. And I'm going to have a my other object, second one, that's also an instance of my class. And let's rename this to my other object, just to make it more clear. Now let's use the weak map. I'm going to add something for my object. And you can set this to anything you want, an array, a string, another object. I'm just going to go for a string here. This is my object. And let's do the same for my other object. So this is my other object. And let's now echo that out. So I'm going to echo out weak map my object. And let's execute this. And you can see that this is my object is being output. And let's see what happens if we do my other object. And of course, we see this is my other object. So like an array, you can put anything in a certain key. But unlike an array, the keys are not integers or strings, but they are objects. There is one more special thing about a weak map. Let's take a look at how many items there are currently in the weak map. So we are going to count it. We can do that. And let's execute that. So there are two items now in the weak map. Let's see what happens if we unset one of the objects here. So I'm going to unset my object. And let's run this again. And now you see that we only have one item left in the weak map. Because my object is unset, the entry for that object was deleted from the weak map. The weak map is named that way because it holds a weak reference to the object. When an object is going out of scope, and we do that here explicitly by unsetting the variable that holds the object, there are no more other references that target this object. And this reference doesn't count. It's a weak reference. And when there are no references to an object anymore, then PHP's garbage collection will automatically remove it from memory. And also any entries in weak maps where that object has a weak reference will be removed. Now in normal circumstances, you likely won't need a weak map. A weak map shines in caching scenarios or in a long running process. Let's take a look at a package where a weak map is being used. And that is the once package. You'll find a link to that package in the notes below this video. Before explaining the package, let me clean some of this up. So we have a clean slate. I already pre-installed the package here. So I should uh, include the vendor auto loader. I still want to have a class called my class. But this time we are going to add a method here, get random number. And this one returns a random number. So I'm going to have another my object here, and it's a new instance of my class. And let's echo out a random number. So my object get random number. I'm also going to put a new line here because we'll have some more output later on. And let's execute it. And every time I execute it, we get a different number. And of course, when I do a second call in the same execution, I'll get two different numbers each time. Let's start using the once package. The once package offers you a once function. And you should give that once function a callable, which returns a certain result. The first time that this is executed, once will execute that closure, Remember the result 
and return the result. And next time that it is executed, that remembered result will be returned. The closure will not be executed anymore. Let's see that in action. I'm going to execute this code again, and we see two numbers that are the same, even though we call get random number here. Let's do it again. We always get the same number. So the first time get random number is executed, the closure gets executed, the result is remembered, and the result will be returned. And the second time, the result from the first execution will be returned. That's why we get two times the same number. Now under the hood of this package, a weak map is being used. Let me show you that. So here in the source directory, in the cache, you see that weak map here. And I'm not going to walk through all of the code, but you should remember that the results of the closures that you pass to the once function will get saved here in this weak map called values. Let's jump back to our index.php. Let's take a look at how many entries the underlying cache of once holds now. So I can do that by echoing out cache, get instance, and call count on it. And here I'm going to, just for clarity, add number of items in cache, like that. Let's add a new line here as well, and execute it. So we have now one thing in our cache. Now behind the scenes, there is a cache per object. So when this is executed for another instance of our class, we'll get another number. But if we call get random number on the same instance, we get the same result back. Sounds a bit confusing, but let's just show you that in code. So I'm going to copy this. And this is now my other object. So it's another instance. And let's execute that. And you can see that we have a random number and we call it on the same instance. So we get the same random number. But for an other instance, we get another random number. But when we try to get another random number for that instance, we get the same number. And let's see how many objects are in the cache now. You can see that there are two objects in the cache. Let's now try to unset the first object. And let's echo out that we did that. So object has been unset. Let's do an end of line. And display how many items there are in the cache now. And now you can see that we have only one item in the cache. Because the only reference to my object has been unset, it was removed from the weak map as well. So by using a weak map, we have a sort of self-cleaning cache, which is very nice. And again, I'm explicitly using unset here, but that self-cleaning behavior of our cache happens whenever an object goes out of scope. Like I've said before, I don't think you'll find yourself in many situations where you want to reach for a weak map, but for a package like once, a weak map is really handy.